Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to share this lovely textured scarf pattern with you. Can you believe this is a simple one row repeat? Today I'll be showing you how to make it in a woman's size. If you want to make it in smaller sizes, don't forget to check out the link in the description box below. And you will find the smaller sizes from toddler to children's sizes as well. To make this scarf, I used Premier Basics DK Weight yarn, which is a size 3 yarn. And to make an adult size, you will need 2.5 skeins of this yarn. Each skein comes with 306 yards. Along with that, I used a 4mm crochet hook. So gather your supplies and let's get started. To make a scarf that is 7 inches wide, I chained 40 Three. You can chain any multiple of 5 plus 3 if you want to make your scarf wider. I'm starting with a chain of 43. That is first chain a multiple of 5 and then add 3 chains to it if you want to make it wider than 7 inches. I have now completed 43 chains and let's begin row one to start row one work a double crochet in the fifth chain from your hook so one two three four and five into the fifth chain work two double crochet stitches Now chain one and into the next stitch work two double crochet stitches. One and two. Now skip the next three chains. One, two, and three and into the next work two double crochet one double crochet and two double crochet now chain one and work two double crochet in the next chain one double crochet two double crochet skip the next three chains one two three work two double crochet in the next chain one and then two double crochet in the next so that is going to be our sequence that is skip the next three chains work two double crochet in the next chain one and two double crochet in the next chain again skip three chains work two double crochet in the next chain one and work two double crochet in the next keep repeating that until you have two chains left I now have only two chains left at the end of my row and I'm going to skip the next chain and work a double crochet into the very last chain to complete row one. So work a double crochet into the very last chain and that brings us to the end of row one and this is how it looks. Now let's begin row two. To begin row two, chain three one two three turn your work skip the next double crochet which is this one and into the next work a front post double crochet to work a front post double crochet yarn over insert your hook into the space before that stitch and bring it up through the next space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two 
and yarn over pull through two to complete your front post double crochet now in the chain one space right next to it work a V stitch a V stitch is made of a double crochet a chain one and a double crochet so let's start into the chain space work a double crochet a chain one and one more double crochet to complete a V stitch now in the next double crochet right after that work a front post double crochet again to do that yarn over insert into the space before the stitch and bring it up through the space after the stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two to complete your front post double crochet now skip the next two stitches this one and this one and into the next stitch that is the stitch right before the chain one space we will always be working into the stitch before and after the chain one spaces and into the chain one space we will be working a V stitch so skip the next two double crochet this one and this one and into this work a front post double crochet yarn over insert into the space before the stitch and bring it up through the next space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two to complete your front post double crochet into the chain one space work a V stitch a V stitch is a double crochet chain one and a double crochet so work a double crochet into the chain space chain one one more double crochet into the same space to complete your V stitch and the next double crochet right after that work a front post double crochet now skip the next two double crochet this one and this one into the next work a front post double crochet a V stitch in the next chain one space that is a double crochet a chain one and a double crochet a front post double crochet in the next stitch now keep repeating this all the way until you have one double crochet and the beginning chain left that is you will skip two double crochet that looks like this the next two double crochet and then into the double crochet before the chain one space you will work a front post a V stitch into the chain one space and then again a front post to the next double crochet skip the next two and keep on repeating like that until you have a double crochet and a beginning chain left I now have only one double crochet and the beginning chain left so I will end this row by skipping the next double crochet and working into the beginning chain right there but while working into the beginning chain remember you have to work into the beginning chain two and not into the chain three at the top that is work into the second chain from the base not into the very top that will help us keep the edges straight so work a double crochet into the second chain of the beginning chain and that completes row two now let's begin row three to begin row three chain three turn your work row three is actually just same as row two but your double crochet stitches will be pushed behind so i'm going to show you one more row and then you can keep repeating this row to make your scarf as long as you want 
now skip the next double crochet that will be pushed behind into the next one work a front post double crochet into the chain one space right after work a B stitch that is a double crochet chain one and a double crochet into the next double crochet work a front post double crochet stitch now skip the next two double crochet stitches they are also pushed behind so skip those two and into the next double crochet work a front post double crochet stitch into the chain one space right after work a V stitch a double crochet a chain one and a double crochet a front post double crochet into the next stitch skip the next two double crochet that's pushed behind this one and this two this one and into the next work uh, front post double crochet into the chain one space work a V stitch a double crochet a chain one and a double crochet makes a V stitch work a front post double crochet into the next double crochet Now keep working like that, that is skipping the next two double crochet pushed behind and a front post double crochet, a V stitch in the chain space, a front post double crochet, skipping the next two double crochet pushed behind and so on until you have one double crochet and a beginning chain left. I have now just completed a front post double crochet and I have one double crochet that is pushed behind and my beginning chain so I will skip that next double crochet and work into the second chain from the base one two not into this one at the top but the second one from the bottom one two into that I will work my last double crochet stitch to end row three so this is how row three looks completed now go ahead and keep repeating row three until your scarf is the length you want i made it 68 inches long for women and teens so the choice is yours you can keep repeating this row as long as you want and come back and join me and i'll show you how to even out the edges so once your scarf is half inch less than the total length you want we will do the next row but before you start the next leveling row i want to make sure that you have your beginning tail on the left corner if not work one more repeat of row two and then you will get your tail on the left side so once you make sure it's on the left side let's begin the next leveling row to start the leveling row chain three one two three turn your work skip the next double crochet that's pushed behind and work a front post double crochet into the next and into the chain one space where we normally work a V stitch work just one double crochet stitch sorry work a double crochet into that chain space and into the next double crochet work a front post double crochet stitch now skip the next two double crochet that is pushed behind and work a front post into the next so the difference is that instead of working a V stitch into the chain space we are working a double crochet in this row front post double crochet in the next stitch double crochet into the chain one space a front post double crochet into the 
next double crochet skip the next two double crochet work a front post double crochet into the next a double crochet into the chain space a front post double crochet into the next skip the next two work a front post double crochet in the next a double crochet into the chain space and a front post double crochet into the next stitch now keep repeating that that is skip the next two double crochet that's push behind a front post double crochet a double crochet in the chain space and then another front post double crochet keep repeating that until you have just one double crochet and the beginning chain left I now have only one double crochet and the beginning chain left so I will work a double crochet into the beginning chain two like we did with all the previous rows and complete this leveling row and see the edge is pretty straight now and now we will work one last row of single crochet so to begin chain one so on your work and work a single crochet in the first stitch the one right at the base of your chain one work a single crochet into that and work a single crochet into each stitch across all the way to the end of this row After working into all the stitches, work a single crochet into the top of beginning chain 2 and then fasten off. So this side is now complete. Now we will work on the foundation chain side and even out that edge as well. So this is the foundation chain side and this is the beginning tail and we will start on the opposite corner. So we will work a leveling row from here to the beginning tail and then one last row backwards. So let's begin right here. Slip stitch to that corner where you don't have the beginning tail. Work into that chain to top of it and work a slip stitch and work a single crochet into the same chain now work a single crochet into the space under your beginning chain now take a look at the gaps under the shells that is there are two gaps one under the two double crochet stitches one here and another gap under the next two double crochet stitches and you have a big gap following it which is under the chain three so we will be working into these gaps under the two double crochet stitches and the chain three again you have two spaces under the double crochet stitches here sorry here and here and then a big space under the chain three so we will be working into those spaces so keep an eye on them and let's begin working into those spaces work a single crochet into the space under the next two double crochet stitch and now work a single crochet two together across the same space and the next space under the two double crochet stitches for that pull up a loop in the same space pull up a loop in the next space under the two double crochet stitches yarn over and pull through all the three loops on your hook to complete your single crochet two together now into that big space under chain three work a single crochet now into the space under the next two double crochet stitches work a single crochet Now work a single crochet two together across the same space and the next space under the double crochet stitches. So pull up a loop in the current space, 
and the next space yarn over pull through all the three loops on your hook to complete your single crochet two together into that big space under the chain three you will work another single crochet stitch so keep repeating that a single crochet in the next space a single crochet two together across the same space and the next space one single crochet under the big space single crochet in the next space under the two double crochet stitches single crochet two together across the same space and the next a single crochet and so on keep repeating this until you're near the next corner and after you have worked your single crochet two together under the very last group of double crochet stitches work a single crochet right under your beginning tail into that corner right there and that brings us to the end of this leveling row so now your edge is straight so now let's go ahead and add one final row of single crochet stitch like we added to the other side now chain one turn your work work a single crochet in the first stitch right under your chain and a single crochet into each stitch across all the way to the end of your row a single crochet in each stitch all the way to the next corner and fasten off so this is the right side of your scarf where you worked your last rows will be your right side so let's go ahead and weave in the tails on the back side of the scarf thread a yarn needle and weave in any tails left I like to weave them in along the back of the front post stitches and go back in and out like that and then you can trim your yarn for the ones at the corner you can maybe weave it in along the these stitches back and forth bring it down and go in and out through the stitches for an inch and then work back in and out pull and trim your yarn so go ahead and weave in all the remaining tails and your scarf will be complete if you enjoyed working this scarf with me don't forget to like subscribe and press that bell icon to receive notifications when i post new patterns again you will find the child size and the toddler size on my blog and the link is in the description box below thank you so much for watching